Let me just say this right now. Tom Cruise, you sir are a madman. This dude is howled and he still does his own stunts. Shut the front door. What the hell is he doing? I find it best not to look. So Mission Impossible Fallout is the sixth Mission Impossible movie. The sixth Mission Impossible movie. Holy crap. Fallout is actually a direct sequel to Mission Impossible Rogue Nation and once again we follow Ethan Hunt played by Tom Cruise along with his IMF team members. This time they are joined along by Henry Cavill. And in this film the IMF team are trying to capture plutonium so that they may stop a team known as the Apostles. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Mission Impossible Fallout. Dun 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 I had to put on the glasses at least once guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> So to say that I was hyped for Mission Impossible Fallout is a bit of an understatement. I have been a big fan of the Mission Impossible film franchise. I actually really dug Mission Impossible 1, Mission Impossible 2, and eh, not so much. The third one I thought was very good. The fourth one I thought was great, in fact, kind of awesome. And then Rogue Nation just blew that out of the water. But man, Mission Impossible Fallout, this film was just insane. Lee awesome. So starting off with Tom Cruise, like I mentioned in my intro, this dude is a madman. For him to keep just upping the scale of the stuns and for how old he is, he's either just crazy or like my dad says, he has a death wish. But regardless, no matter how risky the stun is, I seriously praise Tom Cruise for putting his body on the line just for the sake of entertaining his fans. And man, the stunts in this film are just flat out insane, like I mentioned before. Tom Cruise is the definition of a star, whether it be just a movie star or an action star, this man encapsulates both parts. And just knowing that Tom Cruise filmed two weeks this movie on a broken ankle just shows how committed he is, and I'm so happy that we have stars like Tom Cruise around. And when it comes to the other cast members, everyone else is great. Simon Pegg is once again awesome, has great comedic timing. Vin Grahams I loved even more so, Rebecca Ferguson once again returns to kick even more ass. Henry Cavill was such a great addition, and he steals so many scenes from Tom Cruise. And speaking of ass kicking, when it comes to the action in this film, two words come to my mind. Whole Lee crap. Now I'm sure that you guys have heard the statement since that there were a bunch of critics who saw this film like what a couple weeks ago and that those critics were saying that this is the best action film since Mad Max Fury Road and I'm here to say that I completely agree with that statement. Seriously the action in Mission Impossible Fallout is just I mean it's jaw-dropping to say the least. How Christopher McQuarrie executes helms frames and how he edits the action all together it's just such pitch perfect precision that it just kept my eyes glued onto the screen. Whether I was watching a brutal bathroom brawl or an insane motorcycle chase or a jaw dropping helicopter scene, every single action scene in this film manages to top the last one. I don't know how they did it, but holy crap, yeah, the action in this film is just wow! And I'm not even joking when I say this, guys. During the helicopter scene in this film, there was a certain point in which I heard the lady next to me just going, <gasps> and I'm not gonna lie, I did that myself. And it's even better knowing that the action in this film is real. No CG, all real actions. Thank you. Thank you. Not to mention this is such a beautifully shot action film. Robert Ellswood, who shot Rogue Nation and Ghost Protocol didn't return, but instead Rob Hardy, who actually shot Alex Garland's films Ex Machina Annihilation shoots this one and dude this man shoots some amazing action scenes. There's this one sequence in particular that takes place under these tunnels and at this one part the scene is essentially illuminated by flashlights. How the flashlights illuminate the scene just looked beautiful. You guys will know when I see it, but it almost gave like a noir type of look to it. Rob Hardy shoots some amazing action. There's no close-ups. Everything is wide angle shots. And the score by Lauren Balf is also just great. There is a sequence 
involving a halo jump that I'm not gonna lie to you guys had me gripping out of my own skin. It was that suspenseful with the music. This is what I will say about Mission Impossible Fallout. While I do feel that it does have the best action easily of the franchise, in terms as an overall film, I don't think it's quite the best Mission Impossible film. My only flaw with Mission Impossible Fallout though is the first 45 minutes. Now don't get me wrong guys, while the first 45 minutes does have that awesome brutal bathroom fight, I do feel like they were a bit choppy and the pacing was just a tad bit slow, but otherwise that's it. <laughs> So overall, while Mission Impossible Fallout isn't quite the best Mission Impossible film, in terms of action films, this easily raises the bar for action films to come in the near future. So all in all guys, I'm gonna give Mission Impossible Fallout a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I pretty much love this movie, minus a few flaws, but nonetheless guys, if you're huge Mission Impossible fans, or if you're just pretty much action movie fans in general, please go see this movie on the biggest screen on, with the best sound possible. Alrighty guys, so comment out and let me know below. What is your favorite Mission Impossible movie of all time? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and I'm also on Snapchat and Stardust. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links and the usernames are in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Mission Impossible Fallout. If so, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe to see more just like this one. If you guys want to see my review of The Equalizer 2, please click right here. Or if you guys want to see my review of Skyscraper, please click right here. And of course, until the next review, I will see you guys next time.